Here is my cyanotype pate. Just going to give that a good shake. Make sure all the powders, everything gets mixed together. I did mix these up a while ago, so I'm just giving them a, a good shake. When you first buy them, put the water in them, give them a good shake, but leave it at least 24 hours before you use the cyanotype. This is the part B. It's going to get mixed up with the part A in equal parts and then paint it on to the paper. This will go and be dried off and then I will do my print. So I'm just going to make up my suds just using common or garden washing up liquid. So Put a bit of liquid into the bowl and just fill up slightly with the water and just build up them suds. And these are the couple of things I'm going to use today to make my sienna type. Cling film and in that spray buckle is uh, 5 to 1 one part cider vinegar to five parts water diluted which I will spray on the paper when I make it. Here's the board I'm going to use. I'm going to use a couple of sheets of glass and make a layered wet sienna type. So let's get on with it and let's see what I can do. So I'm just going to Increase my suds and then I'm going to float my paper onto the suds. Put my paper with the suds on. And I'm just going to put my Put over my excuse my pup 
working in the back room playing with a treat why I do this pop this over the top get some extra layers to make an interesting composition gaps at the side there, screws jock barking, there we go, and now to clamp up So there's my composition all made up, waiting to go out, now into the sun. So, once again, liven up the suds in the water, and float your paper on it, and your suds on there, put your put your composition onto the paper and a little bit more coats to this on the thing to spread it around just to give it a bit more bubbles oh notice my glass has already got cling film on from a previous thing so I'll put that on to the cling film not sprayed this one with uh, any cider vinegar, I've just left it as it is, just with the just with the salt and the uh, film film as a texture. So this one's now ready to go out. There's my composition for this one, ready to go out into the sun. Let's see what they can produce after a few hours. Prince have been outside now for about three hours, so should have had enough time for uh, process to take place. So just take off uh, the glass and let's see what sort of print that we've got. There's the print, the glass removed. We've got something there, so I'll just uh, just needs rinsing and see what uh, see what we what we can bring out I think it's going to come out I don't know, a bit dark we'll have to wait and see just 
just gently uh, rinse this bamboo paper it doesn't take up to being rinsed quite hard so just gently rock to the water over the paper so Here's my other print, which I'm going to take off. This hasn't had any uh, acid sprayed on it, so vinegar sprayed on it. So I'm just going to see what we've got with this. There we have the print. Let's see what it rinses off like. Hopefully, it comes up pretty good. So let's just have a look. Here's the print now, after it's been rinsed in the peroxide for about 10 seconds, it's down the prints off very nicely and we've got a very nice print now. So here are my prints, all dried off now. I'm just going to give them a waxing using Renaissance wax. Here is the wax that I use for waxing my uh, prints with. You can get it off the internet on an internet company named after the famous South American River. The print is now being waxed, bringing out all the textures and defining the print, as you can see. Two wax prints together. One with a triple layered print and the bramble leaf just a straightforward wet sienotype. <laughs> 